Hello, in this video I'm going to be going over Click Clockwood Early, uh, Setup A. I'm redoing this this series of tutorials because I have better strats now. Um, so, the beginning is simple, go hit the switch. Right when the switch goes flat, like right when the switch fully goes into this like frame, that's when you can bear punch. That's the coordinates for before you bear punch. Right after you bear punch, uh, you can do your next step, which is a beak barge. Right when Banjo looks fully to his right. Uh, so just do a full beak barge. Hold B the entire time. Then you'll land. Right when Banjo looks fully to his right again, that's when you can do your next step. Your next step is to get into Talon Trot and buffer straight right on your joystick while you get into Talon Trot. There's the the coordinates so this grunt link can come and attack you sometimes sometimes he won't be away in the way sometimes he will be in the way if he comes to attack you then you want to gold feather him before you get into talent trot so i gold feather him here and now you see how there's the honeycomb that went flying up there what i like to do is i like to try and time my uh talent trot so that i go under it after it bounces just like that it's kind of hard to do, but you'll get a feeling eventually. Essentially, you just want to not get that honeycomb because uh, if you do, then sometimes it can cause a lag frame, which will make your pause bad. So now you're going to hold a straight right. Uh, so the, there's an audio cue and a visual cue for this. You can use either or. The audio cue is to count clucks as usual. Count ten, or, uh, sorry, count five intervals of ten clucks, then pause right after the fourth cluck. So pause right after the fifty-fourth cluck. Uh, there's going to be three setups for this trick. Um, this is going to be setup A, so this is the earliest frame. The visual cue to pause is to look at this uh, moss over here. This is the final uh, scene, the final time it'll flip. There should be a black corner right here, like a little black dot right here. I like to pause right when this is a going off, right when this is going off screen. So right when this is going off screen, if you pause, then normally you should get setup B, but th since this is setup A, this will be one frame early. Whoops, I went forward. It's fine. Uh, so yeah. So what it'll look like. Right there. Okay, so uh, the text is going away, but that's not a big deal. To know if you got the pause screen for setup A, the earliest frame, look at the screen Jinjo. Its nose should be barely, should just be poking out of the light green here. It should be perpendicular to this light green spot right here. It should just be poking out of it. That should be a simple enough cue to, to understand if you got it or not. Once you got that, unpause, let go of all your inputs. So now the next step is going to be to beak barge. Uh, you can beak barge as soon as Banjo looks fully to his right here. Uh, and here's your coordinates. Right when he looks fully to the right. Uh, but here's your coordinates once you've fully stopped. Then Beak Barge. Same thing here. Uh, you can do your next step once Banjo looks fully to his right. Right there. So now your next step is going to be to use the shock pad. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold A. Okay, now don't touch the joystick or anything else until you hit the ground again. Like right here. Now once you hit the ground here, you're going to hold Z, and you're going to hold straight left on the joystick. Now what you're going to do, you're going to go all the way to the left, just keep holding left, keep holding Z, and now you're going to slide here. For setup A, this is unique to setup A, once you're sliding, once you start to slide, then let go of your joystick, revert it back to neutral. And then, right after there, you saw that, uh... That little flicker on the side of this this wood here that's when you can let go of z and let go of all your inputs it's kind of hard to see uh i left this these coordinates up here so you can see exactly when banjo stops moving but i'll show it again uh the easiest way to know when you can just uh get up and go to your next step is just to see when banjo starts peeking up from his crouch i'll go back and show it again So right there, Banjo's starting to peek up. If you don't want to try and save every single frame, you can just wait till you see Banjo starts to peek up. Then you can let go of Z. Now you can go into your next step. These are your coordinates. This is your angle. Get in the first person. Turn to the left. Now right here, uh, I look for this tree. Right, right 
after, right after this life part goes off screen, I like to pause right away. That's what the pause screen looks like. This is this is if you get the pause. Uh, I like to look at this first honeycomb for this first pause. Uh, look at this light spot on the tree here. It should be striking the top left of this honeycomb. And yeah, uh, the rest of this, all these cues are probably going to be somewhat similar. There's a link into this in the description to a zip file of all the images that you can pull up during your run. But yeah, uh, there should be an explanation there for you if you if you're interested. So yeah, that's the pause screen. Once you get that, you're going to unpause. Now here, I'm not going to show the coordinates right away. What you're going to do is you're going to get out of first person. You're going to beak barge and you're going to change the camera. So while you're getting out of first person, you can do your inputs like right away for your beak barge. So you can basically just tap up C, then ZB right away. As soon as you can. Like it's very, very lenient how early you can do it. So you're going to beak barge as soon as you can. And then while you're setting up your beak barge, you're going to mash down C twice. You're going to zoom out, then zoom in while you're doing the beak barge. And it should look like this. Perfect. Just like that. So now, uh, this is what your camera should look like. There's your in, there's your angle. That's the angle of the that's the angle of the pause uh, from earlier. And this is where your coordinates should be right now. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna do one punch cancel. Uh, you're gonna look. What I like to do is I like to look at this bottom corner right here. There should be a tiny bit of this brown spot. You should be able to see it change pretty drastically if you get this punch cancel. Right there, I, you should have been able to see it. Uh, and there's the coordinates for after 906. Uh, now you're gonna get in, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna do your next twirly, but right before you get into first person, you're gonna press down C one time. So you're gonna press down C, then up C right after, and you're gonna hold straight left. You saw that you heard the zoom out, and then I went into first person. You're gonna hold straight to the left here. Now you're gonna pause right when this goes off screen, right when this line goes off screen. I'm probably going fast here, but uh, just take your time with this. Pause right when this goes off screen. I, I was one frame late there, right there. So the cue to see if you got this is seeing this black smudge right here, this big black smudge. It should be all the way to the left of this screen. You should probably maybe be able to see a bit of the light spot, but this it somewhat depends on the TV you're using. Some TVs might be different, but in general, this whole black smudge should be all the way to the left, uh, all the way to the right, sorry. Uh, and then once you see that, you can unpause. And now, wait for your camera to change a bit. Those were your inputs. I'll go back just a bit. Uh, you wanna just wait for your camera to settle before you start your punch cancels. And yeah, there's your coordinates. That's the angle and angle of 194. So wait for your camera to settle. It should be settled now. I like to look at here, the grass and this little line right here uh, for my punch cancels. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. Setup A, I think is the hardest to do out of all of them, uh, visual wise. So just look carefully. You're gonna do two punch cancels. Should have seen it change a tiny bit there. Coordinates should be like that, 2.08. Your next one. Should have seen it changed a bit more. It'll be. It should be more apparent on your own TV. Uh, on my OBS feed, it may not be as apparent. Uh, but yeah, this should. The this, these are the coordinates for after the two punch cancels. After that, just get into first person. Go to the right. Now this next pause, you're gonna pause right before or right, pretty much right before this like scene goes off screen. Off screen. There's this line at the side of the tree that separates the dark from the light. Right before this goes off screen is right when you want to pause. And this is the pause screen. Uh, I'm going to actually go back just so I can pause the video earlier. So the pause screen right here. Uh, you want to look at these collectibles. You want to look at the feathers. The bottom of the feather should be like just aligned with almost aligned with like the scene that connects the dark from the light on this tree. It should be pretty straightforward. Uh, you can even look at the sides of the feather here. Uh, it should be pretty much right in the center. This red feather should be in the center of like the scene that connects the dark and the light. And yeah, that should be simple enough to understand. So uh, unpause. Here, you're gonna actually wait a tiny bit. 
those are your coordinates. You're going to wait a tiny bit for the camera to settle, just so all the drastic changes are done. And then for a while after, it'll be it'll be doing some micro changes. But you can continue your with your setup. You can do your next punch cancel during the micro changes. So what you're going to do here, after the camera changes just a bit, so wait like maybe one or two seconds, you're going to do a punch cancel, and you're specifically going to look at the bottom here. You're just going to look at the bottom. Uh, you should see, if you got the punch cancel, you should see more pixels like show up. More pixels of the green moss show up. You should see like a layer, an extra layer of pixels like be more visible. Right there. You should see, you should have seen that it shifted up a tiny bit. That's kind of difficult to see, but it shouldn't be too difficult. So yeah, uh, now you get into Talent Trot. Those are your coordinates. Get into Talent Trot. Go to the right here. So here, it's hard to see my visual cue on OBS, but it should be more apparent on your TV. There should be a black line right here. Uh, just a small little visual here. I like to pause right when this is right when this is going off screen, like right w right when this goes off screen. That's when I like to pause. Again, it should be more apparent on your TV. It's just a an OBS feed thing. If you can't see this on your screen for whatever reason, then I guess just use this V shape right here and pause right after it goes off screen. And yeah, this is what that pause screen should look like. If you got the pause, this egg uh, it should be struck by this little line right here. Not right on the center, not right at the top, but it should be a tiny bit to the right of the top of the egg. This little black line right here should strike that egg. And yeah, then you unpause. Get out of Talon Trot. It's an angle of 17. It's it's an angle of 197 in Talon Trot. Uh, and when you get out of Talon Trot, it changes it by 180. So it's an angle of 17. And you're just going to do two punch cancels. The visual cues for this punch cancel doesn't matter. You're just basically going to spam punch cancels until it works. It's two punch cancels. So the first punch cancel, just do with a short hop. There, I didn't get it. That time I got it. So... General th advice is uh, for the last punch cancels, just do the first one or two with short hops. Uh, in this case, only do the first one with a short hop, then just spam big jumps after. So this is after the first punch cancel. Now one more, got it. Beak bust at the peak of your jump and you should get in. That was helpful and I'll see you for the next setup.